All right, here uh, with with Ian Chaplin. What's it like when you when you get out here all the way to Memphis and you look over there and the band members are all wearing chef's hats? It's awesome. You know, it's kind of that support from home. You know, it's kind of like it came with us, and um, it was a great feeling. When was the first time that you noticed, you know, the, the chef thing was starting to take off? Um, I want to say it was the Louisville game at home. I just walked out and saw probably a group of like 12, 16 students in the student section wearing the chef hat. And then um, I think we played Virginia that Saturday, and then everyone in the stands had chef hats, and it was a crazy moment. You guys won by so much yesterday that all those guys got to get this entire bench made it on the court. How special is that? And what sense of pride do you take in seeing those guys out there? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great feeling, especially after uh, what happened in the AC tournament, where it happened the opposite way. So I mean, it's great to get those guys on the court, especially during the NCAA tournament. I mean, everybody wants to play March Madness and let those guys get some minutes. It's great. What was it like getting back to the hotel last night after the initial excitement, but getting to pick up the phone, getting to respond to some text messages? It's great, you know, just, you know, call my dad. You know, my dad's one of those guys, like, always on in the next, always on the next. But it's like, you know, I used to watch these games with my dad, and um, it's just, it's surreal that I'm playing this. So. How special is that to share? Um, it's great. Yeah, it's great. It's one of those moments that I'm going to remember forever. I know he called you right after. Was that just, all right, son, scouting Baylor already? Or was, was there some excitement? Did he take a moment to enjoy it? Yeah, he, he was just like, good game, you know. Moving on to the next, like, you know, we'll play like that. we got a shot to win this thing. And, um, you know, he's talking about watching all the other games. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, so. Moving on, there you do have Baylor, a number three team for good reason. You know, they, they play a tough zone. They're really good shooters, especially from the three. How do you – part of the problem for New Mexico yesterday was they didn't get a lot of clean shots. They shot something like 29% or something. I mean, how do, how do you attempt to replicate that to limit your uh, the opponent's easy shots? Shots. Yeah, Baylor's one of the best office teams in the country, and, um, you know, we're going to have to bring our A game like we did against New Mexico, and um, if we play like uh, we did against New Mexico, I think, you know, we'll, we'll have a good game, and um, you know, I think we'll have a chance to win. What's it like to turn your focus like that so quickly? How, how do you do that? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 hard to just, you know, it's everyone's excited about the win, but it's a quick turnaround, and, uh, you know, we want to we win more, so, uh, you know, we're focused on Baylor now, and uh, we're ready to win this game. I was talking to the guys upstairs about um, Preston and what he's meant to you guys and what he's brought to you guys in, in the strength conditioning area. Um, they all talked about he's a real advocate for you guys. He talked about his conversations with Brad and about training versus balance versus rest and all of that. Well, what's he done for you and how has he helped you? Yeah, I mean, he's been great. You know, he's, he's been good about balancing, you know, when to work, when to, you know, get a little more rest. Um, he also made us do a conditioning thing this summer that was not fun. So he's, he's also been able to do the hard stuff with us and uh, he's been great he's been great addition this offseason how important is somebody like that how important is that role in a basketball team success uh, it's, it's, it's major I mean like he, he knows when to push us when to when we need to relax and uh, you know he's, he's been great thanks so much I appreciate it for you what was it like when you walked in here for practice the first time and you see March Madness on the floor you've seen it on TV uh -huh. your entire life but you walk out on the floor and there it is or it's in all the you know, all the signage too. Yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's amazing. Like it honestly didn't feel real at first. I mean, I walked on the court just smiling, you know, hit a little dance move, kind of like, like this is the real thing. Like it's time to go. So it was it was amazing. So yeah, obviously you're, you're focused on this team, but some of these steps that you've taken in recent weeks are preparing you for when PJ's gone, for when. Joe's gone. This is really your team next year. I mean, I think, to me, are you looking forward to that, you know, for you kind of being the, the old guy? Yeah, you know, um, it's, it's one of those things I have thought of, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of fully still thinking about this year right now, and um, when the time comes, it'll be an exciting time, and, um, you know, whatever, whatever happens, you know, it, it'll be a good year. What do you feel like this year has been like for you? What, what has this year been like for you? With all of the growth that you've shown, all of the double doubles, the improved game, the improved defense, everything. What has this year of growth been like for you? Just the confidence in my game. 
the confidence my game has grown so much over the years uh, you know, as a freshman. I mean, it wasn't easy. You know, it's hard that, that transition. And um, just even from sophomore season to now, you know, my confidence has grown tremendously. You know, taking some big shots in big games. And, uh, you know, just confidence to go against all these guys that are all great players. And, uh, thinking that I'm good enough to play with these guys. Obviously, you hope there's some great moments still to come this year. But is there one moment from the season that really stands out to you that that's one I'll remember forever? Um, probably the UNC game, you know. Uh, that's <coughs> just that stat, just that Clemson was 1-60 in 60 against them. And, you know, no one thinks you're going to win, especially Clemson fans. When your, your team's been 1-60 in 60 going there. And, uh, you know, being a part of that, just being, I mean, the second team to ever go in there and win, you know, it's huge for a fan base. So. so getting that win yesterday in March Madness, what was that? What was that like when you get in the locker room? You get to put that, you know, here we go forward plaque up. What was that like? It's amazing. It's like it's, it's one of those things you watch on TV and that you want to experience. Like you see all these guys, you know, every year. Like I mean, you see the upsets, the, just all the crazy stuff that happens during this time. And um, it's one of those feelings that you know you want to experience, and being able to experience that is awesome. It's wrong. Yep.